In 1999, The Matrix was released, and its main premise was that in reality, the world is not what it looks like. In this respect, it appears to be following ancient Indian myths and theories of illusion, or as it is said in Sanskrit, Maya. In the movie, Morpheus says to Neo, What is real? If you talk about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then all these are just electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Then he reveals the truth to Neo, that machines have subdued mankind and they have forced them to live their lives in an artificial simulation, which is called the Matrix, which mankind has accepted as the real world. Due to its connection with Hindu philosophy, in India this movie was quite a thrill. Actually, The Matrix is not the only movie that puts forth such a view that the world is just an illusion, a matrix made by a computer. Rather, it is a commonly shown subject in the genre of science fiction, and many scholars, philosophers, physicists, mathematicians and theologists have been trying to find the truth of this notion for many years. But now Elon Musk, a billionaire, founder and CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, has openly supported this concept. Recently at a technology conference in San Francisco, Musk shocked the world by saying that he believes that the probability of us living within a computer simulation is very high. In other words, we can be a fictional character of any cosmic computer game created by supercreatures. According to Musk, the probability that we are living in true reality is one in a billion. And this is a very important thing. Ultimately, it is another thing for philosophers, physicists, mathematicians or some other theorists to argue on delusion versus reality because it is their profession. But when a sensible person like Elon Musk, who is very closely related to the world of technology, talks about this subject, then indeed he should be heard. Difficult to separate from reality The logic of Elon Musk is simple and easy to understand. Being an ideologist and technologist, he generally avoids giving a quick vote. He talked about how 40 years ago, computer games like Pong were played with only two rectangles and a dot. Games used to be like this. But now, after 40 years, we have a photorealistic 3D simulation by which millions of people can play games together, and it is getting more modern with every passing year. Soon computer games will also adopt things like virtual and augmented reality, and soon it will be very difficult to separate them from actual reality. This will happen even if we assume that the rate of their progress will be considerably lower than today, the probability of which is very low according to him. In the future, we can see these things happening. Let's talk about a time which is 10,000 years in the future. On the evolutionary scale, it is equivalent to a second. Can you imagine, at that time, what will be the form of computer games? Musk ends his point saying that, keeping in mind that the mind-boggling technology of computer games and the fact that in future these games will be played on trillions of computers, it is logical to assume that the probability of us living in a true reality is one in a billion. Technology versus Theory Whether we are living inside simulations or not, this is perhaps the simplest and most convincing answer to this question especially when the answer is given by a person who is not a theoretician, but a person who is associated with hardcore technology and who also has deep interest in the subject of artificial intelligence. Now many of you must be thinking, is God the creator of our simulation? It could be, or he could be your great, 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 great grandson. We do not know. On the other hand, the question arises, what is the meaning of all this for us? What if we are just lines of code in some large reality show of the universe? Some of us would be like Neo and might go for the symbolic red pill to seek the reality, but probably most of us will not have that much courage, or we are just too lazy to do it and would like to live in our own delusion and thereby will choose the blue pill. 
After all, in the movie, the character named Cypher finds that he cannot handle the reality that he has found, and goes back to the comfortable illusions of the Matrix. So, is it the red pill or blue one? It is similar to the choice that Lord Krishna gave to Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita 3.16.